My name is Robert Sproston, and I work for the Riverhead Police Department. On the day of my accident, we got a call over the air that a pursuit was heading into our jurisdiction. And as I was lights and sirens responding that way, I went around the vehicle that was making a left. They turned into me, uh, into my passenger door, and that pushed me off the roadway, causing me to make contact with a chain link fence. That top pipe that holds the fence up separated, came down through the window and through my face. In the, uh, the right side of my face, right under my cheekbone, and out the left. I had just gotten home with my daughter, and we had gotten the call, not knowing it was Robert. I was on the fire truck. We were the first ones on scene after the paramedics. You want to talk about feeling complete emptiness? It was bad. You know, I thought I was going to lose him that day. Dr. Cox was a trauma doctor at Peconic Bay Medical Center who stabilized me directly after my accident and found me an airway. His CT scan revealed a lot of structural fractures to the facial bone area. We have a trauma team available. Our nurses are trained in trauma. Our PCTs are trained in trauma. And our CAT scan is always ready for trauma patients to come into our emergency department. Because time is of the essence in traumatic patients. So any seconds or minutes wasted could mean uh, death in a patient. If it wasn't for the care that Robert was given to immediately stabilize his condition, he may not be here today. Today I feel great. I feel back to myself again. And I can't say thank you enough to all of them who played part in my recovery. The day that he came in to thank me was a very emotional day. In emergency medicine, we often see people at their worst, and we don't see the outcomes. The emotions I was feeling that day when I had met Dr. Cox was just thankful to be standing there talking to him when it could have went so many other ways. When he came in, so just shocked just to see you know, how well he looked, how well he was talking, that he was in his uniform. Every time I see him, he seems to progress a little bit more. Um, just to join his eyes, just to be back working as a police officer is great for him. It's great for my team here in the emergency department to let them know what we do is important and it really makes a difference. Thank you everyone who supported emergency medicine at Peconic Bay Medical Center. I just want to thank all the donors who donated to the Peconic Bay Medical Center Emergency Department to help us with our expansion and allow us to provide the best medical care for the patrons here on the east end of Long Island. Your support will help more patients like me.